today I am making a baked acorn squash cinnamon recipe. Um, this is a very easy recipe. And one thing I will mention that I did not do in the video um, and I do recommend is lining your pan with aluminum foil. I try not to use it and I just didn't have any honestly, but if I made this again, I would probably use it. Yeah, it was really good. We really liked it. I'll definitely make it again. Um, I probably would just eyeball everything and I think that if you're gonna make this recipe, you could probably eyeball everything too and it would turn out just as good. I'll we'll actually be making baked acorn seeds, kind of like pumpkin seeds. That'll be in the video as well. So yeah, um, hope you'll stick around. Give me a like if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, for this recipe, you will need two acorn squash, one fourth cup melted coconut oil, two tablespoons maple syrup, and then all of this will be eyeballed. Cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and nutmeg. Okay, so start by mixing your melted coconut oil, your two tablespoons maple syrup, and your cinnamon. And then we're going to cut the acorn squash in half. And then after we're done cutting them in half, we're going to cut them again. Okay, they're kind of hard to cut, so you're gonna wanna make sure you're using a sharp knife. Next, we're gonna spoon out all the seeds and don't throw these away because at the end of the video, we're going to actually be making a recipe with them. Um, we're going to try and use as much as we can. So go ahead and spoon out those seeds and just set them aside. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and coat our pan with olive oil. If you have a spray, just go ahead and use that. And then we're gonna add our acorn squash to the pan. And then we're gonna start by adding our mixture onto the squash. Um, I think our hands are our best tools, so you'll see me in just a second go ahead and rubbing it in with my hands. If you have, you know, one of those um, paint brushes that are used for cooking, that would be perfect for this as well. I don't, so I'm using my hands, but yeah. Okay, and this is where the good part comes in. Go ahead and add as much cinnamon as you like to the top. We're also gonna add cloves, and then we're also going to add pumpkin pie spice. Um, this is a very fall recipe, so just add whatever you like. I'm gonna bake it at 400 for about 30 minutes, and this is what it looks like when it's done. Now, onto the seeds. So these are the seeds that we set aside earlier. We're gonna go ahead and rinse them very well. You'll notice that it's kind of a little difficult to get all of the um, membranes, if that's what you want to call it, off. But just keep working at it and remove them all. Okay, so it should look a little something like this when you have them all rinsed off. You're going to want to use a cotton towel or a dish towel, something like that that's clean to dry them because if you use a paper towel, they will stick 
and it will be extremely hard to remove the paper towel from the seeds. So just make sure you use a cotton towel. After that, you're gonna go ahead and put them on a baking sheet. And then we're gonna add some olive oil. You could add avocado oil or whatever you have. And then after that, all we're gonna do is top it with seasonings. I just use salt, but you could use popcorn seasoning would be really good. You could use Cajun, you could use pepper, you could use whatever you like. So it's a very versatile recipe. All right, go ahead and mix all the oil, the seasonings, and the seeds up. Bake it at 300 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what they look like when they're done. Hope you like it.